Hi guys, it's Lita. So, uh, I know I've been kind of off the radar recently, and that's mainly because I've been moving back to California. So, I'm trying to get back into making videos now, but I decided to make a Q&A because it's been a while since I last did a Q&A. The first question is from my friend Jessica. Will you make me a sandwich? Okay, so I'm gonna make Jessica a sandwich. Need some water. That is not. <laughs> I can make a sandwich. <laughs> How did I even mess that up? Question number two is from Allison. Who was your favorite person to cosplay as? I would definitely have to say Grail Sutcliffe because it's just the best feeling in the world to be a flaming gay guy. Question number three is from Tiffany. What is your favorite wow mount, your favorite song, and your favorite band? I have two kind of equivalent equal favorite mounts. One would be Ashes of Alar, which is that phoenix thing that um, is from Tempest Keep. And Raven Lord from Sethicals, because Raven Lord's awesome. My favorite song is actually from WoW right now, um, and it's that song Night Song that's from the Cataclysm soundtrack. And also for bands, I actually don't listen to bands at all. Question number four is from Sophia. When did you know that you love to draw? I probably started realizing that I really liked to draw when I was about six or seven years old because I used to draw swans and horses like all the time and like fill up entire sketchbooks with comics of like swans and horses. <laughs> Question number five is from Jackie. Lita, can you please wish me a happy birthday? Please. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jackie. I hope you have an amazing birthday today. Question number six is from Diego. What was the first video game you ever played? The first video game I ever tried was um, Need for Speed, the original Need for Speed for PS1. Um, and I played it against my grandpa like once. Question number seven is from Dragon Rider of Azeroth. I don't see your regular name, but Dragon Rider of Azeroth. How long have you been into fantasy? Literally as long as I can remember. I remember all the time thinking I was either a cat or like I was a cat person or like I was an elf and then like I would write letters to fairies and elves and stuff all the time and every, like literally my entire life was just about fantasy and it still totally is about fantasy. Question number eight, Eli asks, do I even lift? Yes, in fact, I can lift this delicious Arizona to my mouth. Oh. oh shit, that's cold. Question number nine. This is from Jade. This is kind of a touchy question, but she asked, why did you and Matt break up? And Matt and I already talked about this and that it's okay to let people know. But honestly, it just wasn't working out. We weren't connecting on an emotional level. And it's like honestly just much better if we're just friends. Question number 10 is from Haley. Who is your favorite Black Butler character and why? Definitely CL because I really really love his character personality and also just his story about like how he was like broken and reborn pretty much as something else. Um, and I also just love how mature he is and also just some of his quotes and stuff are like the best quotes ever and I just love how sad he is but because of that he's like stronger than anybody else plus he's really sassy sometimes and he makes a really adorable girl question number 11 is from ice cream buckets or Pocahontas could you show us some of your art I drew for my friend Shannon um, I drew her as like a cute badass kitty gangster bitch. It's like a little red riding, riding, little red riding hood thing and the big bad wolf. It's, all these are so hard to see without zooming in. And then there's this one, which is my favorite right now. And it's my night off monk on WoW. Question number 12 is from Laura. Fuck, Mary, kill, Grell, Sebastian, CL. I was thinking about this question for a pretty long time and I realized fucking 
marrying or killing CL would all be really, really fucked up. Question number 13 is from Kat D. Perkins. How come you go through so many different and interesting styles? Does it make you feel more comfortable to be more dressed up? Yes, it does, actually. It's actually really unsettling for me to stay looking like one person um, for longer than like a few days, which is part of the reason why I changed my hair and my makeup style and my overall style like all the time. Um, it's just be it's like the same reason why I love cosplay so much is because I don't like just sticking to being one person. It's really uncomfortable. For the way that I do dress, it isn't for like people to look at me or something like that. It's not for like attention on the streets or anything. It's just because it's more comfortable for me and feels more right to be dressed up as like some fantasy character. So that's pretty much it for this Q&A. Um, but it was pretty fun. So I know I always say this, but hopefully I can make some more Q&As, like maybe one a week or something. Hopefully, but knowing me, I don't know if I will. Um, but I'll try. Anyway, so um, I love you guys. And I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but I'll try and get back into a filming and stuff. Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. I know! I'm, that's what I kill spiders with. Okay, if there's a spider and you have a sword, why would you kill it with anything else? <laughs> Ice cream buckets or Pocahontas? I don't know your real name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you were in here. Arcane, be my butler. Arcane, no, you're my butler. Come here. Oh, who will be my butler? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Damn it! No one's gonna be my butler. <laughs> the only thing I could think of was don't wear white pants on your period. <laughs> Bring a lot of glitter pens. The gel pens, those cool ones, yeah. Uh, th you happy? I said a fuck ton. <laughs> Bring a fuck ton of glitter pens. <laughs>